Good morning, YouTube. It is Tuesday, November 20th, and um, checking in uh, weight loss-wise, I'm 202.4 today. 202.4, oh my gosh. So, um, it's so exciting to me to think that, like, yesterday was, you know, 204.6, blah, 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 and now I'm 202.4, like, amazing. So I'm going to try to duplicate what I did yesterday today. Um, having my coffee and um, I'm out of berries but I'm going to have two clementines which is about the equivalent of the amount of berries I ate yesterday um, calorie wise. Um, and what else? Caitlin does not have a hernia. Yay! Um, she has like a varicose type vein thing that popped up suddenly. We're not sure why. I have to keep an eye on it. Um, and she's got an ear infection that's just starting. So we caught it really early, and she's on antibiotics now and numbing drops for her ears. And hopefully that will fix the vomiting because I guess if you have an ear infection, you can throw up. I did not know that. I And she really, um, she's been doing good. She hasn't had any real cold symptoms recently. I mean, a couple weeks ago she did. So um, if she's been having that issue for a couple weeks and now it's just starting. I'm glad we caught it when we did. Um, and I'm just grateful. We have a great doctor who really like checks over her thoroughly to make sure that we don't miss anything because if she hadn't and she would just sent her for an x-ray then you know she would have a raging ear infection. So yay! Um, <clears throat> yeah so that's always really good news. Um, your infections are totally manageable. It's actually like a relief. So, um, yeah, as far as that varicose vein thing, I'm just going to talk to her cardiologist about it and see if she has any other input on why that might happen to her because um, she does have that heart defect. So I don't know if that could contribute to the vasodilation. She was on Viagra, which is a vasodilator, which <clears throat> basically just means enlarging of the veins. Um, but we took her off of the Viagra a few weeks ago, so I would think that it would be out of her system by now and wouldn't be affecting anything. But it could be residual. Who knows? I'm not a doctor. I only pretend to be one. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so anyway, um, I ran yesterday with the Couch to 5K. It was awesome. I loved it. Um, bit and a half reason bag, whatever, yeah. Then um, came the three-minute run. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. And then I looked down and I'm like, oh crap, I've only been running for like a minute and 40 seconds. Okay, keep going, Jessica. And I just kept running and then I looked back down again when I was starting to get a little bit more winded and tired and I was like, okay, 17 more seconds, I got this. And I did it. So I ran for three minutes straight, yay! And then I did it again and ran for three more minutes straight, yay! Um, <laughs> I know that probably sounds really stupid to somebody who's fit and in shape, but for a fatty like me, it's really not that bad. Um, <laughs> little baby steps. It's all about building up my endurance. And the fact that I've got this freaking 5K in like three weeks, two and a half, three weeks, I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, it's not timed and it's more for fun. So if I need to like walk part of it, I'm okay with that. But at least I can hopefully run it. My goal is I want to run at least two-thirds of it, because at that point in my Couch to 5K program, I should be able to run two miles straight, or 20 minutes straight. Now, that's all considering if I'm running, like, the 10-minute mile. I don't think that's happening. I'm not running a 10-minute mile, but i <laughs> probably running closer to, like, a 15-minute mile. Maybe? I don't know. I'm running around my kitchen, so I can't really time how much that is. It takes me seven seconds to lap the island in my kitchen, um, but it's a really long island, so I need to actually probably measure the distance I'm running and see if I need to, like, boost it up, but then I'm afraid I'm going to, like, go crazy and run into something in my kitchen, so. Um, baby steps, though. I hear the baby talking. Um, but everything else is great, so we're going to have a super fun day today. Cute up for... Here for Thanksgiving when we get here, um, when it gets here, so that's going to be fun. And, um, ah, um, 
And that's about it. I'm going to have coffee again today and um, two clementines, which is about 70 calories, which is about the equivalent of um, the berries I had yesterday for breakfast. And I'm trying to recreate what I did yesterday. Mine is, of course, the Starbucks. I'm going to have to figure out something else to do um, for that kind of calorie count, 200 and 70 calories, but it'll probably be my meat, and I'll have to have some kind of vegetable. So, um, yeah, or hummus, again, hummus is good. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm super excited and happy, and um, I hope everybody out there is doing good. Keep up the good work, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.